Hey guys, this is Carson Childers. Thanks for giving this video a look. I'm going to be talking about my new uh, API Transformer LX pedal. It's a uh, DI with a compressor and an EQ. The compressor is uh, based on the API 525 feedback style compressor. And the EQ is what they call a bass optimized EQ. Um, so yeah, let's get into a little bit of the nitty gritty of it. Um, the first thing you're supposed to do when you come to it is set the gain where you want it. So for me, I set that um, about to where, like just under where it would clip uh, when I'm hitting it the hardest I'm ever going to possibly hit the bass. Um, the reason you do that is because then you go down to the compressor, which has six preset settings that goes from number one being a little bit of compression to number six being just completely squashed. Um, so the amount of gain, the top right knob uh, that you put into the pedal, uh, that that's going to directly affect the compressor. Um, I guess it affects the other things too, but not so much the output. Um, in fact, the top left level uh, knob does not affect the output of the XLR output because it is a fixed output. So um, the gain, most importantly, is going to affect how the compressor acts based on how much of your signal you are letting in to the pedal. So I'll do some... Uh, playing examples, show you uh, the compressor and how that affects the sound, show you where I like it. Then we'll get to the EQ, um, which to me, one of the biggest things I noticed is that uh, the frequencies that these three bands of EQ are located um, are a little different than some of the pedals I have formerly used. Um, I have a lot of experience with like the MXR Bass DI Plus, um, the Aguilar Tone Hammer, Sans Amp. Uh, one, one, really, one thing I really noticed was that basically the treble knob, the 2K uh, knob, is a little bit lower than my typical treble knob is centered. So I'm getting less of the string noise, more of the, I guess a little bit more of the fundamental, if that makes sense. Um, some of the overtones, but... Uh, you really have to crank this thing to to get a really radical tone difference. And honestly, all of this, uh, it's a, it seems like a pretty subtle EQ. Um, you can definitely get a little bit more radical, but uh, you're probably going to be close to maxing out the stuff if you're looking at a specific tone. And I'll kind of show you the scoop, the, a little bit of a scoop tone that I like, that I'm kind of, I would consider a fairly radical EQ. Um, so just know this is not like you're not going to make some crazy EQ changes with this pedal. It's fairly subtle. Um, then we get to the 40 hertz, which is really just, I mean, it's mids, but I would say it's mostly mid mids and high mids uh, because bringing it down to the bass control at 100, that's. I would consider that bass, absolutely, but it's kind of bass and low mid. So you're getting a little bit of that low mid uh, when you boost it or cut it, um, which really, to me personally, uh, that's a spot that I'm notorious for cutting the low mids, but that's also the spot that has me least heard in the mix. Um, so I kind of like that it, it forces me to use a little bit more low mids than I typically would. And the result has been me popping out in the mix a little bit more, having a little fatter tone. Um, yeah. So in all of this, uh, forgive me because I'm not, I don't do this professionally or anything. Um, so I don't necessarily always use the right lingo, that kind of thing. I just want to show off this pedal and uh, what you can do with it. And then, you know, finally getting to the top left switch, the level switch, that uh, is really for the unbalanced output that you would use to drive your amp. And that's how much signal from the pedal is going to your amp because maybe you want to push your amp a little harder if it's a tube amp. Maybe you don't want to push it 
um, and you want to keep your pr signal pretty clean. So that le level knob really only affects how much output is going to your amp if you're using the unbalanced output. Once again, thanks for checking this out. Um, subscribe if you want to see random videos from time to time because I really don't upload all that often. Thanks!
Thank mm-hmm. you.